There is a huge battle going on about you and it is easy to take it lightly and it is very easy to think out no it can't be that serious it can't be that real let me tell you this battle is as serious than it gets and you see people today addicted to drugs for instance you see people like their future being ruin ruined young people destroying their futures let me tell you this has been part of the plan and i'm sure you can also attest that you have seen people who will come out and say i used to be a drug addict i used to live this kind of a lifestyle i used to be prostitute blah 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 blah. but now i have found christ and i have changed and what is the reason for that you find that before we go to the reason you find the very same person is now a worshiper in church is now a minister of the gods of the word of god and all these things what would have happened if that person had not been born again if the Lord never pulled them out from there, you see, you wouldn't be hearing such a message that transforms your life. You wouldn't be having such a minister that is winning souls in the kingdom of the Lord. That is why I want to tell you, likewise, beside being a minister, I want to tell you that they are having a huge battle. They are fighting. That is why you go through the toughness that you go through. That is why you go through situations where you feel like... Uh, uh, at backsliding stop praying stop believing in god it's a battle on its own and you might think it is light but it is a battle and let me tell you this battle it does not care who you are it does not measure how deep you are with god or how anointed you are it comes to each one of us jesus as a baby they wanted him dead they wanted to kill him as a baby moses as a baby they wanted to kill him should i go on Joseph, they wanted to kill him. The moment they knew who this destiny, the devil wanted to use the brothers to destroy Joseph. David, they wanted to kill him at their young age. The moment Saul learned that he could be, he could take over his kingdom, he wanted him dead. Hallelujah! The book of Jude speaks of Moses, Satan, and the angel were fighting for the body of Moses let the lord rebuke you they are in a battle and you're not aware that is why as a baby when you are born the enemy some way somehow they learn there's a way in which they know in the kingdom of darkness of your future hence they become threatened let's try to kill this person as a baby or else they grow up this is gonna happen when they don't succeed in killing let us distract this person from knowing god or else if they do this is where they're gonna go even if you don't end up being a minister let me tell you when you are a christian remember we give our hearts unto the lord that lord help me you become end up being a president of the country you end up being a, a head of something in your country that is the grace of god and people through you they learn there is god in heaven through you things are done well people are treated well things are more uh, run smooth no corruptions and whatsoever because you were called by god himself but then again the enemy is standing right there the enemy comes in different ways the enemy can come as himself the enemy can use people closer to you to poison to whisper negativity like in the case of the of our jesus herod wanted to be responsible for the death of jesus that was not a mere threat being threatened but it was the devil who had entered herod to kill the baby jesus before the promise could be fulfilled and when he notices that he can't succeed on that he keeps on trying when jesus was in the wilderness was fasting you see can you imagine he was seeking the face of God? He was more closer to God, but Satan still had the audacity to go there and whisper negativities, temptations, so that he can take Jesus away from the presence of God. And if Jesus had worshipped Satan, that would have been it. So you see, he was still in a constant battle. They are in a constant battle. Every day you are being tasted. And there are some decisions. If you are to take them, Oh my God, this is the end. This is how many people today, they fall victim. But I like one thing. You might say, well, how will I know? How will I be sure? Anything that you see that tests you while it is not in alignment with the word of God, it's obviously a sin. 
That's why Jesus was able to use the scriptures that when Satan saying, worship me, that when Satan was saying, throw yourself, angels will come upon you. Jesus knew that what the counters of those moves. He also said this. He also said, don't test the Lord your God. So you see, it is easy to stay in the presence of God as well much as it is easy to get out of there. It's just up to you. What do you want to do? Do you know the God? If the devil tempts you, are you going to say, oh, it was difficult. What was difficult? I was confused. I, did, I was not aware. You are well. You are well aware. You know so well what is written in the Bible. You know so well that this does not please God. It's unlike a situation which this was more tricky. When, when Satan went to Jesus and said, throw yourself. He said he will command his angels. That was tricky, right? And we we're like, yeah, but it makes sense. He said so. But fortunately, he knew the word of God enough. You can know the word of God, but you might not know it enough. But when you know the word of God enough, you'll be like, really? You get to remind, oh, but yes, it says don't test him. Because now I want to test if he's going to do it. So that is also not allowed. It is only when I'm in a position where I found myself there, I'm back into a corner, then that's when the angels are going to come. It's not like I was testing God. I just happened to be trapped. So you see, that is why I say it is simple. And I want to talk to someone right now. You're about to enter a place where you get good opportunities, but the devil will try to tempt you. That is why Satan was able to tempt Samson with Delilah. The man used the lust of the flesh, whereas they, he knew very well that the Philistine nation were their enemies. Why did he dare to go and marry an enemy? You see what I'm talking about? In fact, she even gave signs when she kept asking, what is your secret? You don't love me. All these things. And whenever I would reveal one thing and lie, they would test him based on what the thing that she just revealed. If he had was using common sense, he would have realized, wait a minute. I've just told Delilah that if you tie me with this rope, I will lose my strength. And indeed, they came and tried that. It means she's feeding them information, but he was too dumb. That is why in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I'm giving you this word because something great is about to happen and I declare and I declare it will not be otherwise. They will try, but they will fail. They will discuss, they will battle, but I want you to know that in the name of Jesus Christ, you are well preserved. They will fail and fall down woefully in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Whatever they do, whatever battle, the Lord has preserved you. He will not give you up into the hands of the enemy. You are well preserved. I declare and I declare over your life right now. Be blessed, be preserved further. May God fill you up with his spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. My details are on the comment section below and I will see you next time.